Hi students, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, smart components. So we're going to ship our gear up a bit and learn more about uh, non-robot components like uh, groupers, conveyors, and other stuff. Because in production plants, they do not have only robots. They have uh, peripheral devices like I um, mentioned earlier. So in robot studio, these components are called uh, smart components. So we can create uh, smart components on our own by coding or connecting um, built-in smart components and someone else might uh, be so kind and give us a uh, smart component. So yeah, um, in this uh, session, I'm gonna teach you how to build a uh, smart component. So let's take a look at the um, definition. So smart components are robots, studio objects, considering of uh, graphics and behavior. So graphic is what you see is static but behavior is gonna make a graphic move. So, yeah. So two building blocks for my components are graphics and behavior. Um, yeah. Uh, example of smart components are grippers, conveyors, and sensor. Um, you might uh, not know that a gripper that you use in the first homework is smart component they can grip things and drop things so yeah that i built it for you um and smart components can be created by coding in robot studio you can use uh, c sharp to uh to build your smart component and the next option is to connecting robot studio built in yeah, you connect, you combine many smart components together and you get a new smart component. Um, the last thing I want to mention about smart component is that smart component is just a, a, comp a, a standard component. You uh, send a digital output to control it. Yeah, like you see here, you send an output to smart component, smart to component do something, and when it's done, it send a signal back to a uh, controller. That's how they, that's how uh, a controller and smart component communicate. So you might have more than one smart component. So the same thing. So if you have smart component two here, you send, you create a a digital output and control it, send a signal to smart component to smart component to send a digital input back to controller and to say uh, I'm done. Okay, uh go top two and wrap up cow cow now go to smart component go to pen uh what to nine robot studio t me tang graphic la go behavior คือสิ่งที่เราเห็นมันก็จะเป็นสแตติกสิ่งที่อยู่นิ่งๆไม่ได้มีการเคลื่อนไหวอะไรแต่ประเด็นหัวใจสําคัญของสมาร์ทคอ
um, I I have this requirement for behavior. So this conveyor must generate and move workpiece. Let's say the workpiece is generated uh, somewhere here and it move along the conveyor and it stop when the sensor detect the workpiece so um the um light yellow here is a sensor so uh the conveyor generate workpiece move move it along the conveyor so in this case it's along the x axis move it along the x axis and when it hit the sensor the conveyor stop that means the workpiece also stop that's the brief uh, behavior of this conveyor ก็คือจะต้องสร้างชิ้นงานได้แล้วก็พาชิ้นงานวิ่งไปจนสุดสายพานที่สุดสายพานจะมีเซ็นเซอร์อยู่เรื่องๆจ้างๆตรงนี้
เอ็นั้นเรียนเนี่ย path so you need to define what object you want to move uh, direction speed I think it's okay so the next object uh, s e m i component we need is a sensor okay you need a sensor so you add components so these are uh, built-in smart components provided by robot studio and select the sensor uh, Okay, it can be either a uh, linear. o oh, sorry, light sensor or plane sensor. So let's select a uh, plane sensor. Okay, and from compost, let's switch to D size. So you have uh three smart components. Okay. Let's look at the first um component source. So this will uh create a copy of a smart component. So next thing we have to ask ourselves is what object you want to move. Okay, so the I suggest that we use. Um, an object that already provided by Robot Studio. So let's get back to compose and add component. We're gonna call import geometry and select this thing. Yeah, it's called thing. And it's there underneath the conveyor. So we're gonna move. This box on the conveyor. All right. So okay. So the source of sorry, the so source of this. The, the graphic component we want to make a copy is thing, okay? Click apply. Okay, and the linear mover will move a copy of thing. Okay, so this will be an input of linear mover. Okay. Oh, sorry. This there will not be only one box here, but this is the original. And the source will create a multiple copies of this box, okay? And the linear mover should move the copy of the box. Okay, ก็เอ่อ uh, กลับมาเป็นภาษาไทยนิดนึงนะมันเริ่มจะซับซ้อนแล้วก็คือเรามีที่ Compose เราเลือกอ Smart Component ไว้3ตัวนะก็คือ Source คือตัวที่จะสร้าง Copy ของของกราฟิกนะในที่นี้ก็คือ Thing นะ Thing ก็คือกล่องเรามีรูอยู่ตรงด้านข้างนิดนึงเราจะใช้ Source เนี่ยอ h i n g ตัวตัว Thing ตัวนี้นะมันจะเป็น Original ของของของของกล่องที่จะสร้างนะคะอ่าก็คือซอร์สเนี่ยจะใช้ซิงเป็นเป็นมาสเตอร์ก๊อปปี้นะแล้วก็อ่ากลับไปที่ดีไซน์ลิเนียมูเวอร์จะจะเคลื่อนย้ายก๊อปปี้ของของซิงนี้นะไปเดี๋ยวดิเรกชันเราค่อยมาว่ากันนะโอเคก็น่าจะน่าจะค่อนข้างเคลียร์ขึ้นแล้วนะโอเค next thing is okay let's get back to this slide um smart component need um must have um input and output and it input uh its input which is uh, controller output uh trigger the smart component 
ก็คือสมาร์ทคอมเพลนมันจะต้องมีรับเอาพุตมาจากคอนโทรลเลอร์ใช่ไหมรับเอาพุตมาแต่ว่ามันเป็นอินพุตของมันใช่ขึ้นอยู่กับมุมมองว่าเรามุมฝั่งมองฝั่งไหนถ้าเราเป็นสมาร์ทคอมโพเนนต์คำสั่งจากคำสั่งเอาพุตของคอนโทรลเลอร์มันคืออินพุตของเราใช่ไหมคะและเมื่อเราทำงานเสร็จแล้วเราก็ต้องส่งเอาพุตออกไปจากตัวเราแต่คอนโทรลเลอร์รับเป็นอินพุตอันนี้ขึ้นอยู่กับมุมมองว่าคุณตอนนี้คุณมองจากมุมไหนนะโอเค so simply put smart component need an input and output okay so we create an input let's call it turn Conveyor on. It generate parts, generate and move parts. Okay. So when smart component uh, receive a signal. From this input, it will trigger the creation of the thing. Okay. Where where do you want to put your copy of thing? You. I think you want to put it. Uh, a copy of thing here because it should move from your right hand to your left hand. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Then let's uh move it from this position to the beginning of the conveyor. Okay. Okay. From this position to, and I activate a uh, snapping function. I want to move it somewhere here. Okay. Click a part. I adjust it a bit, so it somewhere in the middle of the conveyor. Okay, it looks fine. Go see. Okay. Uh, something is wrong. It's our uh, smart component. Um, if you collapse it, you see that the source is outside the smart component. So, what you need to do is to drag it back here. Okay, that's it. Um, I think we should continue in the next video because if the video is longer than fifteen minutes, it will. Uh, it takes too long to upload it to the YouTube. So see you in the next video. Bye.